Hey, what's up guys? Meal Skull here, and welcome to Starbound. Um, so, I finally got the nightly update to work, um, so here I am. Um, I'm not gonna do a full-on playthrough. Um, I've been toying around with the character for a while. I think I'm gonna do a hardcore run. Um, it's the 12th of December right now, at 9.30pm. So, um, here we go. Let's see. I'm gonna randomize a character. Let's see, I wanna be... What is this? Oh, it's a Florin. I'm gonna be a Florin. That's what I think. Stabby, stabby, stabby. We'll just go like that. There we go. That's me. Um... Yeah, looks good. Even, even the clothes. Hardcore. And... This is gonna be... Uh, let's click the mouse seven times. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, this is the story of Hair Singer. All right, let's get into this. Hair Singer. So yeah, a lot of things have changed um, with this game recently. Well, not recently, over the past year. Um, we've actually got quests, and um, the food system's different, combat's different, pretty much everything. So, here we are. New quest. Tired of Florin's savagery, I have taken to the stars to pursue a more honorable hunt. The ship has been damaged in hyperspace and is unoperational. To keep moving, I'll need to repair the ship's thrusters and patch up the hull. Alright, so, here I am. Hair Singer. Let's see, gotta press E here. Oh, that's cute. Spinny head. Sail. Ship based artificial intelligence lattice. Cool. Error, error. Um, lots of stuff. Reboot required. Okay, let's do that. Um, issue command. Boot initialized. New super ruser acquired. Super user, not super ruser. <laughs> Hello, ha ha ha, I am Sail. I have enabled the ship's backup power. The thrusters and FTL drive are still offline. We should start by enabling your matter manipulator. Alrighty, let's do that. The matter manipulator is very powerful. He he he, it will let you destroy matter. Speaking my language now. Sweet. Enabled. Alright, and this is a little different too. Um, you press R to get to that now. So, okay. Um, let's see if we can... Oh, okay, yes, the mat matter manipulator is working. The matter manipulator enables you to pick up, move, and collect objects and materials. Okay, let's um, repair. I'll need 20 core fragments from the pa planet below. Can't do that. Enable teleporter. The short range teleporter will take you to the planet's surface. Be careful down there. Hee hee hee. Issue command. Alright. Um, the first thing I should do is check the ship's locker. At the very least, I'll need a flashlight. But there should be some other supplies in there too. I'll accept that quest. And we're gonna get out of there. Here's the locker. Alright. Can we shift click this stuff yet? Oh, we can, yes. Um, it's time to make a crafting table. I should beam down to the planet and use my matter manipulator to fell trees for wood. Then press C to open my crafting menu and see what I'll need. Okay. So, let's shift click all this. Ooh. What? Nice. 35 and 42. Um, hmm. Take it this one is stronger. Let's put our lights over there. Put that there. Okay. Let's get a fuel for our sword. So, this one. Oh, that's right. You got a point in the direction you want to cut now. What about this one? That's a two handed. Okay. I can get used to that. Okay. Time to go down. Oh. Let's take a look at our planet. Uh, I can't open it yet. Yeah, this is totally different. Let's go to the planet. Oh, and of course it's nighttime, right? 
Okay, um, let's put this in our right hand, that way we can see. Okay. Chop a tree. Yeah, this game's so much different nowadays. I, I was pretty amazed when I finally got the uh, nightly build to work. I just see something move over there. What is that? Oh, it's a flower. Is that a chest? No. Okay. Let's go get our wood. We'll come over here, grab this stuff. Ah, rice. Learn to craft pearl pea risotto. Right on. Uh, can I take any more? No. Okay, let's chop more trees. So yeah, this game has changed immensely. Come on, tree. There we go. Of course it had to be nighttime when I beamed down here. I'm glad that's fixed though, because it used to be like beam to your ship and then beam down and it's daytime every time. So yeah, little changes like that will help this game immensely. Oh and it looks like it's finally the rain's finally stopping. And maybe it's turning daytime. Those are pixels. All right, let's go take a look around. Let's chop another tree. I know I'm really just murdering the planet, but it's all good. Okay. Let's go for a walk. Red flower? Yep. And you can see the little bugs flying around too. They're uh, yeah, you can collect them with a bug net. Pearl peas, sweet. Uh, learned how to make boiled pearl peas. Oh, is this my world from... I bet you this is. This is my other world. That's kind of a drag. Why did it send me here? Maybe it's the starting planet. I don't know. Oh well, we'll... we'll... We'll play this game, I guess. I want to find these uh, core fragments. I haven't done that in my casual playthrough. Get some of this coal. Can't go wrong with that. Alright. Okay, what I'm doing is getting some uh, plant fibers. So they're pretty necessary. Let's see. Okay, let's make a. Uh, let us make a crafting table. So, in order to do that, I'm going to need some wood planks. Until it says wooden crafting table, craft it. Great, I can use this crafting table to create lots of items that I can't make with my bare hands. Okay. Plant fibers can be used to fashion bandages in case I get hurt. I should chop down some mines to obtain plant fibers, turn them into a bandage. Better safe than sorry. Okay, now to complete this quest, I'm going to go like this. Oh, I can't do that, can I? Um, can I throw them? Hmm. Oh, that was them. Come on now. There it is. Um, how do I toss stuff? Q? Oh, nope. I guess not. Okay, hold on. Put those there, put these out. There we go. Then I can go Q? Pick them up? No? Maybe I actually need to craft bandages, so we'll set down our crafting table. And let's go to... 
I'll need a campfire eventually too. Let's... there we go. That wasn't too bad. I could make all sorts of things from plant fibers, from ropes to cloth. To stay healthy and add to my combat effectiveness, I'll need to cook some food. I should obtain some raw steak by killing a monster with a hunting bow or hunting spear and cook it on a campfire to produce cooked alien meat. Okay, um, I can make a campfire. Should do that. There we are. Um, let's pick up our crafting table. Okay, and let's continue our walk. Some wheat. Let's see, I need to figure out how to make a bow. Um, I need to set down this crafting table. We'll activate it. And um, hunting bow. I need 10 plant fibers and 30 wood planks. Well, we got the wood, so let's make some wood planks. Make like, I don't know, that many? That should do it. Now I need some plant fibers. Let's pick this up. Okay, and let's continue on our way. These things look kind of weird. I don't know if I necessarily like them or not. Maybe down here? Ah, oh, there's a vine. Let's make sure there's nothing down here to kill me. Okay, I think we're good. Um, can I still do the back wall thing? No, apparently not. Oh, apparently yes. I can. Cool. So I'll go like that then. There we go. That drains the water. Chop that down. Okay, now I got enough for a bow. Oh, I shouldn't waste torches like that. We'll keep that one there, just so I know. <clears throat> okay, so, let's grab our crafting table. Let's go like that. Let's go down to a hunting bow, wherever that is. There it is. Craft it. And I'm going to put that, let's see, right here. Put our wood there. Pick this up and continue on our way. Now I need to find an animal of some sort. It's kind of weird that I'm not seeing any right now. What was that? Speaking of weird things. Oh, just something. Alrighty, I gotta get the feel for this bow again. Cause there's a sweet spot you can do for a critical hit. See when the bow flashes? Like that. Okay. There we go. Oh, that means I'm out of stamina, which means uh, I can't do anything until my stamina goes up again. Yep, this is definitely the planet I played on my casual, because there was a campsite here, and then there was this. And there shouldn't be anything down here because I looted it all with my other, my casual character. But we'll go check it out. Maybe we can find something to eat. Hmm. Okay. Let's continue. This is actually putting me at a slight disadvantage. Hmm. That's interesting. Can I kill those with a bow? Do you drop cooked alien meat? No? Maybe? Nope. Hmm. Nothing down there. Okay, let's go. I guess I could always eat rice. 
I think I lived on rice once upon a time. In in game, guys. <laughs> oh, there's something. I wonder if you're friendly. Oh, I don't know. You made a sound. What does that sound mean? Does it mean you want to eat my face? Oh well, either way, I have to kill you, animal. I'm sorry. There we go. There's some meat. Okay, let's go like this. Make sure there's... I don't think I've been this way. Hmm. Some lanterns. Cool. I'll take them. And there's a campfire down here. I can use that to cook. Okay, I think we're clear. So, let's open this. Let's put our meat in here and hit cook. Cook. Raw ale or cook steak. Sweet. Delicious. I'm sure I can cook some even tastier dishes and... Oh, I learned how to make meat dumplings. Uh, once I find better ingredients. Maybe I should craft a hoe, begin seeds s and... Wait. And find some seeds to plant. Okay. To make more advanced items, I'll need to craft a stone furnace to smelt raw ores into refined metal bars. Cool. Okay. So, let's take a nap. Gives you a little... It heals you when you nap still. Let's see. Ooh, I'll take those. Yoink, yoink. And yoink. Iron? Cool. Right on. And I'm kind of curious about this cave, so... And we do need the stone, so why not? Good, still works. <laughs> I wasn't sure if you could still do this to mine things, but I guess you can. Okay. Whoa, what's going on? I'm floaty. That's pretty awesome, I guess. I don't know what that means. What, what am I doing? Why am I flying around? Why can't I get down? I want to get down. This is scary. Let me down. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Do I just wait for it to run out, or what? <laughs> Let me down. <laughs> oh, this game is getting nuts. Get up there. Oh, okay. I can't control it, but... It does allow you to do the little a floaty thing, I guess. Right on. As soon as it's done, I can finally land. There we go. Okay, let's place a torch, because there's some iron here. I think I need to find some copper. I'm not sure anymore. It's been too long. But yeah, the reason I jumped into some Starbound today was because, uh... Well, I played a little bit, and I was like, wow, the nightly build is really far. But I've heard it's, um... A lot of people say it's unplayable right now because it wipes your character. Um, and I figured, well, you know, of course I don't want to start a full-on Let's Play with a nightly build, but um, that shouldn't stop me from doing a few episodes of Hardcore. Which, you know, if you know me, I love Hardcore. It's probably one of my favorite things to do. Um, as far as fun things, you know. But yeah. I do like, you know, the hardcore progression of casual, um, casual games, but at the same time, you know, gotta, gotta get me some hardcore once in a while. And what better to do it with Star, than Starbound, especially with the nightly build. Oh, you guys are gonna love this. Watch this. You can finally make something with clay. Roof tiles and bricks. So yeah, this, and I haven't experienced anything bad with the nightly build. Um, 
what I read was they're trying to push for a stable update soon and it intrigued me so I said well let's test it out let's see and yeah I was pleasantly surprised to find that this game is very playable actually um, as far as the nightly builds go the only thing is you know like I said earlier you gotta go with the hardcore just don't dedicate you know 60 episodes to something that might not exist forever let's see let's do that whoa a whole clay cave what about down here hmm Let's try going down there a little bit. I know I'm kind of going off mission a little bit, but I do need to find those planet cores or whatever they're called. Oops. I can't get that back now, can I? Nope. It's gone forever. This would be the place where I need that floaty thing. Okay. And you can swim in Starbound. Which is... Good. Um, makes sense in this game, just because... I couldn't imagine a universe where... I mean, you, you can go into space, but you can't swim. Doesn't make a ton of sense to me. Oh, and also, your junk still goes in the junk. So there we go. Whoops, what did I just press? F1. Oh, cool. I didn't know that. Let's see, background, right click, left and right click, select a single block shift. Hmm, cool. Let's see. Gotta keep my wits about me, because I don't know what's in these caves. And it is hardcore, so... I don't want to be caught, you know, doing something dumb. For too long, anyway. Is that copper? No, that's iron, I think. Alright, let's get up here. Place a few torches. Ooh. What is that? Is that gold? Oh wow, it's gotta be. Look at how long that's taking. Yep, gold ore. Nice. That's pretty cool to find. Early like this. Not that I'll be able to get anything out of it, but... Okay. Let's get down here. Um, I think we're too deep to dig out the back wall and let the water drain. Yep. It ain't moving. Okay. Let's see. Um, we're gonna go like this. Oh, hold on. Let's grab these real quick. Cool. Now let's dig down. Have I gotten a lot of stone yet? I don't think I have. I want to check this real quick. 28. Is that enough to make a furnace? Okay. Um, a torch. I'm still pretty slow at this game because I'm learning the controls. Again, I haven't played in, jeez, I, I can't even tell you, long time now. Probably before a lot of uh, you subscribers were subscribers were around, I played 60 episodes of Starbound. Um, there's a playlist, go check it out if you're interested. Um, very, it's it's the stable update, the last stable update, I believe. But, from what I hear now, they want to push all of what's in the nightly builds into a stable update. 
It sounds pretty amazing. I would definitely play it. Um, actually, Saifa is uh, thinking. Well, he he said we should do a um, uh, an LP when 1.0 comes out. But I might throw one in there beforehand just because. Um, if it's a stable update, sure. I don't see the harm in that. As long as my character doesn't get wiped on six episodes in. It was funny because we were discussing it and uh, he said he did a four episode LP to begin with too. Which, um, yeah, I had, a, I had a six episode, you know, LP as soon as the game came out. I was like, yeah, let's play. And then uh, six episodes in, character wipe. Everything was gone. And, yeah, for him to experience the same thing, it was kind of like, oh, that's funny. But, yeah. So, let's get in here. Oh, you guys might notice, if you've, if you've played Starbound before, um, I'm not getting hungry. Let me show you the new system. So, um, I've got this slab of delicious cooked alien meat, right? I'm gonna eat that, and you'll see up here that it says I'm regaining health, and I have this, which is kind of like a well-fed buff. Um, and I can't eat while I have this. And your food gives you different buffs like that, which is pretty cool. Um, I really like the hunger. Like, I, you know, when you're playing a survival game, you should have to eat. I think that's pretty paramount, but it does set the game apart, you know. Um, giving you, I mean, the better food you get, the better your buff will be. So it's kind of a trade-off. I'm not sure about temperature, if the temperature has changed at all, but... But yeah, that's, you know, I think that's the direction they're going with this. Which, you know, it's still fun to me. It is pretty, it was a pretty easy system that you had to eat, and when you ate, you just, you were full. But this gives you a benefit to eat. Um, because, yeah, well, when I played it before, it was, um, basically you just carry around your fastest growing crop. You eat rice all day, every day, that's all you ever eat is rice, because it's simple, you know. And that was kind of a bad move on my part. Let's see if I can patch that hole. I think I patched it. Now let's see if I can dig my... Dig it out a little bit. Hmm. I don't think that... Nope. Okay. Um, maybe if I... Can I do this? Yes, I can. Okay. Well, I don't think it's worth what was down there. Let's get out of here. We'll go find some metal somewhere else. Let's get my flashlight. I do need to get some stone and get a furnace anyway, so we'll head up. Oh, hey. Oh, what? What, what was that? Why am I shiny? What's going on? Oh, am I... Am I, uh, putting off light? Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay, let's get out of this cave. Should get some of this stone, but... Okay. Hmm. Yeah. I'm illuminated. Hmm. Yeah, I can get stone here. Why not? We'll get stone where we can get it. So yeah, I just wanted to kind of let everybody know. Um, 
I haven't given up on Starbound. Still going to be an awesome game. I had a lot of fun playing it. Um, I'll continue to have fun playing it. Maybe I'll just keep doing some hardcores until we do get a stable update. And then, you know, depending on the update, I may consider doing a LP, but... Um, maybe I'll wait for 1.0. I don't know. It's kind of a toss-up. Tell me what you think. Um, your feedback will influence my decision greatly. I mean, if you guys like watching Starbound, hey, you know, it's it's different for my channel. I'm, you know, not opposed to that. It's, I mean, it, you know, still same genre as Terraria, but um, it's very much different than Terraria. And I can tell you that if you haven't, you know, seen Starbound at all and you're looking at this going, oh man, it's just like Terraria, you got another thing coming. This game is huge. <laughs> but yeah, it's definitely... Um, I'm definitely going to do an LP at some point in the future. Don't know when, but... Oh, no wonder I could see. I'm glowing. It's like, wow, it's dark in here and I could still see perfectly. Okay. But yeah, you know, I mean, tell me what you think. Leave me comments, because I read them, and they kind of influence what I do. So, so yeah, you know, just tell me what you think. Let's get out of this dang cave. I just need stone, and here I am playing in the dirt. I don't really want to tear up that wood too much. It looks too nice. Somebody put a lot of time into that like four seconds when they built my universe and put me on the same planet as my casual character that's bad 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 starbound should always consider the hardcore damn it <laughs> yep of course I got that chest because I'm on the same planet as before but apparently I'm I did miss some things didn't I Oh, let's see that I'm about to run out of light put up a torch okay there we go curious what a planet core thing is. Um, how do I access my quests? That's what I'm curious about. Let's see. Quest. Journal. J. Um, okay, I need a stone furnace and let's see. Tardiflor and Savagery. I'll have to... Okay, I already did that. Um, okay. I guess I gotta finish the tutorial. So, let's build ourselves a crafting, or put down a crafting table. Right there, boom. Open that, stone furnace, craft it, complete the quest. Um, I'm going to need better tools if I'm gonna survive down here. I should start by making use of a furnace and smelting some copper ore to obtain a copper bar. The deeper underground I go, the more likely I am to find ore, except. Okay, put down this. Can I still put this on the table? Yes, I can. Okay. Um, copper bar. There it is. Nice. I'll need a whole bunch of copper to start building tools. A copper pickaxe will allow me to mine faster, faster for a while. To make use of stronger and more valuable ores, I need an iron anvil. With an anvil, I can prepare myself for the dangers ahead. And that would be iron. So let's make a bunch of iron. I think it's eight, but we'll make as much as we can. There we go. Crafting table. Um, oh, you know what? I should make more copper, too. Oh, well, I guess I can't make more. Grab some gold. Roof tiles and bricks. God, I love it. Love it. I'm going to build a brick house. Okay. Um... 
the hunting spears are a one-time thing so remember that if you ever craft them I'll show you real quick I'll make four um, and I just heard something in the water I'll put a torch right there just in case okay so um, these hunting spears let's throw them up there and watch this okay so I got a hunting spear let's go find something to hunt don't worry I'm going back for that stuff for sure have I been here I just have a feeling oh, wait I have this is that one planet derp and there are like no monsters what the hell there was some underground but maybe I killed the whole planet I don't know okay anyway see up here hunting spear now watch three two <laughs> yep I'm running out of hunting spears so if you do play with hunting spears uh, that's something to keep in mind is they are not a resource like a bow which you can just keep on keep on going okay anyway uh, anvil let's see here iron anvil there we go craft one of those perfect now I can craft all sorts of weapons and armor I should make myself some better gear before I head into the into more dangerous space it's finally time for me to obtain 20 core fragments I can obtain them deep underground near the planet's core with those sail with what with those sails should be able to oh okay with those that's supposed to be comma sail should be able to fix the ship's thrusters okay sorry I, I read according to yeah anyway <laughs> Let's see here. Um, can I make a copper pickaxe? What is that? That's a bow. No. Iron hunting bow. That's even better. But I'm not going to make one. I'm going to refrain. I'm going to set down this anvil right there. What did I just hear? Okay. Um, choppy thing. That's an... Huh. Okay. Silver pickaxe. Why do I have a silver? I think. What? Gold pickaxe? Copper pickaxe. There we go. That's what I want to make. So, I need eight copper bars to make that. Okay. That's not. I hope that's not too hard. I don't know. Let's pick this stuff up. And let's go. Um. Down into the planet, I guess. Bug. What are you? Oh, okay. That's just a yellow petal. Okay. Um. Yeah. Let's let's dig in. Let's see. Maybe we'll make this cave my kind of base of operations for now. Alrighty. Here we go. I should get this coal, but um, I kind of want to go to the planet's core. You know what I should do? The worst thing ever and dig straight down. Because it is literally going to take me forever to get to the bottom. Maybe every once in a while I'll do this. Oh hey, I'm right above this stuff anyway. Um, torch. There we are. I guess it's just dirt. I can dig through dirt pretty quick. So I need 20 core fragments. Um, maybe I should run this episode until I get them to... Let's see. I also want to craft some bandages. Bandages work a little different too. They don't take forever to heal you. Um, bandages. There you are. Let's put you there. Let's uh, eat some food. Just to keep it survivally. There we go. I can still break the back wall. Okay. Let's get down to business. I 
I'm just gonna hit this cave and go down to save some time. So that's my current quest is um, get 20 core fragments deep underground near the planet's core. Okay. Maybe we'll grab those. Plant fibers are a very good thing to have. Did I miss one? No. Okay, let's go. Let's go with the flashlight. Clear that way. Maybe we should grab this floodlight. Okay, moving on. Do I have a tent? Hmm, maybe we should grab this one. Just in case. Alright, let's go over here. And, um... I really need some copper. Copper would be a good thing right now. But, oh man, clay is awesome. I can't wait to start crafting and building stuff. If I can craft and build stuff later. Okay. Probably not the best idea to do it this way, but... Now oh, what the hell, right? There we go. Now, before I drop into some ravine and kill myself... Oh, hey. Uh, leave my torch alone. There we go. Okay. Get in there, Muley. Get in there. There we go. I will take these pixels. Hmm. Looks safe enough. Let's get this real quick. Iron is a pretty important material. Um in this game. Later on it becomes steel, if I remember correctly. So yeah, we're definitely gonna grab that. And I have to make it to the core of this planet and get some core fragments, dang it. Okay, there's that. Um, what is that? Is that silver? Or platinum? It's definitely something. Silver. I saw something here. Basically, we're getting any kind of metal we can at this point. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Give it to me. It's probably gold or something friggin hard to mine iron there's another something up there ah oh, this time we're gonna do this there we go man this place is loaded gimme what else we got in here looks like a piece of iron gimme okay Let's take this away because it looks ugly. I worry about that stuff. Um, need some more torches. 20. 20 should do. Okay. Hmm. 
Looks like some sand over there. Looks like we're gonna get into some sand. Probably dry sand, if I remember correctly. That's what it looks like, anyway. Um, ah, I can't see the bottom, so we're gonna do something like this. Always want to be careful. Especially in these kind of games, where if you can't see the bottom, <laughs> don't jump. You'll die. So we'll go down as far as we can reach, and over. <gasps> oh my gosh, I lived? I lived. Okay, um, this is a thing. Bandage, now. Bandage again. Bandage again. Oh my gosh, okay, well, um, I fell in a cave. And here we are. I'm a little closer to the, uh, planet's core then. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Oh, and lots of copper. This will help a lot. Um, definitely gonna mine here. Wet dirt. Not sand at all. It's wet dirt. Which, apparently, I didn't learn any recipes for it, so... Okay. Um... What did I see over here? This must be sludge or mud or something. I don't know. Mud. Didn't learn anything from it either. Oh man, that was a... Oh hey, there's a chest right there. Ooh! We will loot that for sure. Cool, got a medical kit. Um, I'm gonna need this chest too. Okay. I don't know, I'm just grabbing things because um kind of curious about all of the new stuffs. Oh, there's a lot of copper here. We can't pass that up. What I do want to do though is throw a torch there. Maybe a torch over here too, just to light ourselves up. There we go. Okay. Let's do this. Beautiful. This should get us a pickaxe, which will help a lot. Um, like I said, I don't know if I said this earlier, but pickaxes do break now. So, yeah, that's a thing. Okay. Give me that. Thank you. Okay, let's make ourselves a copper pickaxe. Ooh, that was kind of glitchy. Um... What the heck is that? Scant remind young Thorin to draw power from the sun. Oh, cool. Circlet. Slicer. We like slicers. Us Florin. Um, okay. I need... Copper pickaxe. Oh, I need my furnace first, because I gotta make these into bars, so that there. Let's access that. Nope. Nope. Oh, here. There we go. Copper bars. Forge them all. Beautiful. 16. Cool. So I can make... We'll make one copper pickaxe. That should be good for now. Um, we'll put that in our... No. I can't do it Minecraft style. Gotta go like that. And I'm good with the one-hander. I don't really need a two-hander sword yet. Which it still says DPS and damage per swing, so... I don't know. Yeah, okay. That's a thing. Let's use the matter manipulator to pick this stuff up. Okay. Now, we've got a pickaxe. Very cool. Which means we... Oh, yeah. Way better. I love the significant difference you see in how you mine with a pickaxe compared to the matter manipulator. It's crazy. The difference is just like, yes, finally. I'm finally winning at life. Um, let's throw a torch up. Let's also get some air. 
I do need to breathe. Okay, let's not get too carried away. There we are. That looks like iron. Excellent. Another chest. Okay, this cave is clear. There's some copper there. I want to grab that real quick because I want to test something. Can I still repair? Um, copper right there. Oh wait. Boop, boop. No, can't do that no more. Does it have to be a bar? Oh, let's see. I have 10 copper bars. Let's try one. Nope. Can't repair no more. Okay, that's a thing. That's alright though. Um, it really did need to be balanced somehow. Let's see. Iron and pixels. Loot them both. And we will take our matter manipulator and take that. I know this matter manipulator is not the fastest thing in the world, but um, it's going to save us on a material, I think. So we can save our copper for a bit. I don't know, or we could just make pickaxes and go for God. Or go to hell. Either way, we can go down. Okay, yeah, let's do it. We're just gonna go like this. Let's find a dry spot first, like here. And then let's just dig straight down. Torch. Okay, here we go. Ooh, good thing we saw that. Yeah, that could have been rough. Okay. Hmm. Let's not make the same mistake as before. We'll go like this. We'll go like that. Let's grab our flashlight. Hmm. Another chest. This is getting interesting. More copper and some pixels. Um, let's take that also. Throw that there. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, now I can see the bottom. And amount of torches. Let's build some more. Ooh. I'm out of something. What am I out of? Wood? No, I'm out of coal. Wasn't there a bunch up there somewhere that I just said, oh, we won't get that? Oh well. It's all good. Let's break this pickaxe real quick. It's for demonstration purposes. Okay, looks safe enough. We do have to be a little more careful with our torches until we find some coal. Let's go that and that. There we go. Hmm. There it goes. It's broken. Okay, so we'll pull out our anvil again. We will go there, copper pickaxe, build it, okay, there we go, a brand new copper pickaxe. Now, get some iron, that should get us some armor, um, eventually anyway, Just peeky here, take that. Just some pixels, nothing special. Ooh, coal, good. That's what we're looking for.
Beautiful. Okay, craft more torches. Why can't I? Oh, I need planks. Yeah, I have coal. I need planks. Okay. That should be plenty. Some torches. Just use all the planks in the world. Okay. Now. Okay. Dig straight down. Because that's how you find diamonds, right? I've never known anything bad to happen from digging straight down into a cave that you can't see in. Okay, we're good. <laughs> Gotta be more, more careful, Muley. Be more careful. No, use the right tool for the job. There we go. What'd that do? Nothing? I guess that's not a bad thing. Oh. Is that what I'm looking for right there? Those things? Hmm. Let's grab this real quick while we're up here. And uh, we may need to build another pickaxe. Which is alright. Not a big deal. Is there anything else up there? No. <clears throat> a little bit of iron. Okay. First thing I'm going to do with those things is be a little wary. Because they look lava-y. Lava-ish. Um, okay. This thing out. I'm also going to need my furnace. Hopefully I have enough copper. Um, place somewhere furnace. There you go. Let's make some copper bars. Please make six. Oh, thank you. Good. Because that's just what I needed. That many. Let's pick this stuff up. And let's go for it. Okay. Like I said, I'm going to be a little wary. Because I'd rather be cautious in a hardcore playthrough than not cautious at all. But I think that's what we're looking for. They look kind of like fragments of core. Oh, careful. Okay, here we go. Um, what is the button to only pick one? Is it shift? Yeah, okay, it's shift. Bingo. That's what we're looking for. Okay. Like that. Let's place a torch. Let's get this out again. Ooh. I don't like that. I don't want to get near them just because I'm not sure, like, their properties. If you touch them, it burns you to death. Or whatever. Error on the side of caution and it will never steer you wrong. Unless you're trying to, I don't know, win chess. Oh, well, I guess caution would be good in winning chess. I don't know. Gosh, don't don't read into it. That is copper. I need that. It's going to make my life very much easier. Okay, I'm standing on them and they don't seem to be doing anything, so that's good. I guess we should grab a bunch of them, because we may need them in the future. And it's a new thing. Ooh. Okay. It's all good. Awesome. Now my ship's sail can repair the ship's thrusters. And I am, I can visit other planets in the solar system. Right on. Right on, man. Good for you. Okay. 
and it got silent all of a sudden, and I don't have a musical instrument to play you songs with. Hmm. Copper is a good thing. We kind of need that. Okay, let's go. Um. Now, if I can make it out alive, that would be good. But if you guys remember Starbound, uh, you log out and you reappear on your ship. So, I'm going to actually have to walk out of here. And I want to do that before this episode's over. There we go. Okay, let's get up there. That, that. What is that? Is that gold? That would make... Man, a gold pickaxe? Could you imagine? Could you friggin' imagine the possibilities of a gold pickaxe this early in the game? We're getting it. I have to. <laughs> it is hardcore, so, you know. Come on now. There we go. Good. Let's go. Oh, I can. Yep, okay. The jumping is so much different than Terraria. Okay, now. This is going to be my elevator. Um, why aren't you going... There we go. We're gonna actually do that real quick. And let's go to that. Put a torch. Oh, there's a chest there. Okay. You guys are just gonna have to wait. <laughs> we'll call this the pilot episode. Pilot episode's a little longer. Ooh. A shield. Nice. I'll take a shield. Um, let's put that there, and then when I grab this, no, when I go one, there, now I got a shield, cool, unless I want my flashlight, there we go, beautiful, shielding is different now to, er, <laughs> shielding, okay, I want my flashlight, cool, um, what did that say? Oh. Shield health, 57.5. Ooh! So it's like a tool. It actually breaks over time. Interesting. It's a very interesting route they've taken. Where your, sh your swords and everything doesn't run out of health, but your shield does. Hmm. I'm curious. I want all of the... Ah, let's leave that little nub. Who cares? Let's go. I'm stuck. There we go. Let's we'll take those out. Don't want to get my leaves caught on that. Okay. Right there. Put it right under my feet. Boop. Almost there. Then we're going to beam up to the ship. And hopefully get the thing running. Um... I might save that for next episode, though, guys. I don't know. You'll have to wait and see. Ooh, that scared me. I was like, what the hell sound is that? It's just rain, Muley. Um, let's get the flashlight out. Okay, I'm on the surface. So, sail. Take me back up to the ship. Beautiful. Alright, um... Thrusters and FTL drive, okay. Repair ship's thrusters. 
That is a bunny pounding on an eye beam. The ship has re rumbled to life. There's still work to do, and I need to fix the FTL drive, but it's a start. Now that I can visit the planets within this solar system, I need to start looking at how to repair my FTL drive. Sail will probably know more. Okay, um, I think I'm going to stop it there. So, thank you guys for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I really had a lot of fun, and this is the farthest I've been in the new nightly build. So, um, leave a like, favorite, subscribe, do all that jazz, and uh, yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.